Hey, whoa! This right here is a female mud crab. If you want to find a monster mud crab, you got to be willing to get dirty. It's a little female, little Jenny. Here you go, sweetie. If you're claustrophobic, don't come looking for monster mud crabs. There's literally not even a path where I'm going. Strider's in the thick of it. <laughs> Found another mud crab here. It looks like a big Jenny. It just... <laughs> yep, it's a big Jenny and she is aggro. It's a good sign. We've seen a couple of Jennies now, but we're still in the hunt for that big monster giant mud crab. The big buck. Oh, you're good. Oh, what's she doing? She's trying to dig herself in. Look at that. Where the hell is she going? Big dead mud crab right here. The remains of a king got into a battle and turned out on the bottom. Around this area, there's gonna be a monster mud crab. A circle of life. Let's go find whoever took this guy's life, eh? Oh, he's gonna be a monster. We're out in the middle of nowhere exploring the mangrove forest in search of the giant mud crab. If one of those buggers don't take your finger off, we're navigating through sea snakes, venomous stonefish, and a whole bunch of other crazy creatures. We've got the swags, we've got the motorbikes, and we're gonna cook up one hell of a feed. The most delicious mud crab wraps you would have ever tasted. Let's get stuck straight into this. It's gonna be a wild adventure. Let's bloody go. Woo! Oh, it's huge. It's huge. He's using camouflage right now. He's trying not to move because he thinks that we don't know he's here. Okay. Making it easy for me, buddy. Oh, he's missing one. Oh, he's missing one. Yeah, Got he's, one claw. He's turned to. <laughs> okay, mate. I didn't mean as an insult. <laughs> he's missing a couple legs at the front there. He is missing the nipper. He's got a few dents there. The mud crabs are very, very aggressive towards each other. And also, they are cannibalistic. They do eat each other. So, we're going to leave this guy here. And let's go find ourselves a bigger mud crab, Jacko. See you, buddy. Whoa! <laughs> I've no idea where I'm going. We're gonna pull up here, have a look around, see if we can find anything. This is what we were looking for, a beautiful stonefish and actually a huge one. They don't really grow much bigger than this. Oh, 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 oh. oh. See that? I don't want to push him any further because this is the time you would get stung. When you do annoy them, you step on them or anything like that, they actually put their spikes up and they will roll, they will jolt, and it will get you. So I'm going to leave him. I'm going to... I hear my warning, mate. I'm sorry. You have a bloody good afternoon. Look at him. He's just waddling away. <laughs> he's, he's, he's just digging himself in where he'll sit himself for the rest of the night. And they're an ambush predator. The prawns, mullets, fish will come over him and boom, they strike so fast and they've got big mouths straight down the gullet. Up, gotcha. Oh, big female. She's just chilling in her little nest here. You can tell it's a female by the big rounded back there. And they actually use that to carry the eggs. The male will come along, put a little sperm spot in there. She'll fertilize and carry eggs for a while. She then she'll punch out to sea in the middle of nowhere, drop them, and the cycle goes on. It's a bit more in depth than that, but that's basically it in a nutshell. Watch out for those big nasty males, hey? They're coming for you. <laughs> I just can't believe they sound so much like monkeys. Yeah, there's birds. They're not birds. No wonder they sound so weird. They're bats. They're loud little buggers, aren't they? <laughs> oh, they're everywhere. Oh. Listen to them. Oh. Look at that one looking straight at me. You bat strider. Righto, we're going to leave these guys to it. They obviously are telling us to get out of here. Found a hole with a really good sign that there's a big mud crab in here. This is all fresh shell that he's been digging out of there. The the water's really murky. When they're making their burrows and doing all this sort of stuff, they're looking for a mate and they're normally angry out. So they're cooking it. Oh, yep, 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 there's one in there. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, he's aggro. Oh, he's gone back deep. What the hell? How was that? Oh, that's a. The little one! Oh. Oh, wow. It's a little small, small female. But that's not the nipper that I felt when I first put my hand in there. So I'd say there's a big, big male mud crab in there. So once I get the big fella out, we'll put her back in there. <laughs> you feel it? Can. I can. Oh, I think I've got the perfect grab. 
Oh, oh he's got one nipper. There you go, buddy. In you go. <laughs> See you, mate. <laughs> well, there you go. So I'm putting the female back where I found her too, and hopefully the cycle just continues. Bow, 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 wow. <laughs> Oh no! That was deep. He's seen me. Ah! <laughs> That's so he deep. knew we were coming. He seen me from about a meter or two away, and. I just felt his legs as I was going deeper and deeper. We'll oh. try again, Jacko. <laughs> ah! No. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful evening, full moon behind me, sunrise over my shoulder right there. We're gonna chuck the swags off, roll them out. It's gonna be a beautiful night. I'll see you guys first light tomorrow morning. We're back on. Woo! Good bloody morning, everyone. We're straight back into the thick of it. The search for the giant mud crab continues. The sun is just peeking up. It's going to be a bloody beauty. I can just feel it. There should be crabs everywhere today. The tides are right. Everything's lining up. Bring on the monster mud crabs. I've come across a little turtle here. Not sure if he's alive. Hey fella. Oh yep. He's alive. You good mate? He's just misjudged the tides, huh? It is important to note that not all turtles and animals need rescuing. That guy was chilling. He purposely got himself in that position. He was close to a tide pool. In maybe six, seven hours the tide will return. He'll be a little bit exhausted. Just over there I can see a mud crab at the front of a hole. I gotta try and be quick to flick him out or he's gonna go in. I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh. <laughs> oh! That is a monster muddy boy! I can't believe the dive slide and grab worked! Oh! Are you kidding me? That's probably the best grab I've ever done. He is huge! That's the biggest one I've ever grabbed, by far. What a massive, massive buck. Look at the size of this claw. Bigger than my hand almost. I think it could be too big to keep, man. I can't keep one this big. This guy is what's keeping the population going. Look at the size of him. Woo! Gonna have to let this fella go, I think. Wow, what a monster. I'll put him down so you guys can see him over there. Have a better look at him. And then, ah, something's biting me. Oh, what the hell? That worm just bit me. What? Oh, it's stuck into my skin. Look. Oh, it's a leech or something. Oh, that's got my blood in it. Oh, it's a leech. That's not a leech. It's a kind of worm. That just sucked the blood out of my... It's going again. What the hell? Monster mud crabs eating other mud crabs. Blood sucking worms. I love this shit. They try and breed with as many females as they can before their life ends in a few short years. So. This guy is the alpha around here. So what happens is they're super, super territorial and dominant. So the big ones will eat the other smaller ones. They'll rip apart females when they mate and they'll take on any other male for the opportunity to breed. So this guy's a breeder. He's a proper breeder. And I will put him back in his hole before we go. I just want to show you guys exactly what a monster, monster mud crab looks like. Look at that. How intimidating is that, man? He's just big claws out like that. Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> that would take off your finger and they lunge forward and come at you like that. I absolutely love them. Hey, buddy. Oh, the alpha male. There you go, mate. See ya. Oh, that's as good as it gets for me. Woo! This thing's starting to swell up and get a bit gnarly, so I have to keep an eye on that. I've never had that happen before. A big red scratch across there, too. This right here is a little crab hole, but the most interesting thing is the tracks. This is a crab that's come out and then gone back in. Sea snake right here, under the remains of a turtle. See ya. 
Like a little monkey crawling over all these mangroves. We are in deep now, but it's full mud crab territory. We've never been this far in before. So look, I almost put my face right into that spider right there. That would have been fun. <laughs> Hello, Strider. Hello! Hello! This is as easy as it gets. We found a mud crab out in the open. It's a huge female, man. Oh, she's just dug in the ground. That's a monster female. All right, -o. see you later. There is a monster mud crab in here. We've just seen his nipper come out. I don't ever recommend doing this, but we got no hook or anything like that, so I'm going with the bare hands. You have to be super smart about it and go try and go underneath, feel out for him, and don't get your hand bit off. Super important. Feel him? I can feel him. Okay, so I know which way he's. Is he facing us? Yeah, he's facing me. So that nipple was just on its own, that was not me pulling it out. So he's got a female in there, and that's what's making it so confusing for me. He's um, torn her to bits. Oh, quick. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't do this at oh. home, kids. Whatever you do. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Monster mud crab! He almost got me so many times. He is as big as they get, guys. And oh, you do not want to get your finger in one of them. That'll take it off. Look at the size of it. Oh. And he was committing a murder in there. He was absolutely ripping apart a small female. <laughs> that is insane. That cool. Woo! That's what we've been looking for for the last bloody two days, riding around on the motorbikes. And uh, we finally got one. My first monster crab. Oh! <laughs> he almost got me again. We're gonna have a good feed tonight, Chaco. Woo! We got fire, baby! <laughs> Woo! Yes! <laughs> this is the big fella here. He has been humanely dealt with, so he's gone straight in the fire. Oh! Filling it up with coals. And the crab also is an oven itself. It just cooks inside its own shell. So this will take about 15, 20 minutes, depending on what the fire is. That crab is already changing colors. Hello, Bob. Hello, Vicky. Hello. Oh, we burnt the legs. It's nice and cool now. So what we're making is a wrap, but a special crab wrap. One of the key ingredients is gonna be these corn chips. I'll show you a little bit about what we're doing later. But for now, I have gotta get all the crab meat out of this fella. So I'll crack him open there. Oof. Absolutely bloody beautiful. Oh. There we go. Oh, that, oh that's perfect. Oh, that's good. I'm just gonna have a little taste test. Oh, so bloody good. If you guys want to get one of these YBS knives, youngbloods.co. This is going to be the tastiest wrap I think I've ever made. First thing we're going to do, we've got a bit of avocado here. I'm going to put that down as a little bit of the base. A little bit of a base. So this crab meat here is just from the claws alone. That's how much meat we got out of that big giant crab. We want to put the corn chips on in a little pattern like this. This is the best part. This is the funnest part. There we go. All right, a little bit of cheese. Put that on top. Bit of green shit. A little bit of red shit. A little bit of runyon, red onion. Last but not least, secret sauce. Whoops. So we've just cut like a lid out of another tortilla. That goes straight on there, and that will seal it a little bit later on. You'll see. And this, this goes on this head. Thank you, baby. There you go. Wow, I love wow. it. <laughs> Gonna go side, side, boom. That goes over there. Oops, put a little hole in there. Goddamn. Like that, and then the last one folds in like this. Right from here, straight on the hot plate, on the coals. Upside down, that's the key. Ah! Whoa, it's hot! Yes! That is going to be so good. <laughs> Give it a little bit, pss, pss, and we're on. <sighs> oh, this is done. <laughs> it looks so good. Holy oh, oh, man, I just dropped on the floor. Ah. Ah. Righto, the moment of truth. I'm going to chop her in half. Have a go at that. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna do it. Oh. Good. Mmm. <laughs> it's mm. so good. It is better than I ever expected. Thank you guys for watching. Oh That's God. it. If you want any merch, maybe a little Christmas present, youngbloods.co. We'll see you guys bloody soon. That's a wrap, baby. Yeah. Yeah.